So that was an interesting first day. We'll say interesting, but let's get into the move that everybody's talking about. Alex Kokochev has signed with SKA St. Petersburg of the KHL. No, but in all seriousness, we knew it was coming. Who knows what his future holds, but unless something drastically changes, he'll never suit up for the Bruins again. And of course, speaking of other players who will most likely never suit up with the Bruins again, Zach Trotman is now a member of the LA Kings. It's a one-year flyer, but who knows what the future holds for him. He is a solid possession player, but pretty damn terrible in terms of production. That places him right into the logjam of average defenders that the Bruins already have. So, of course, I'm not surprised to see him go, and I'm sure you're not either. Matt Irwin is now a Nashville Predator and almost guaranteed to play with Roman Yossi on the top pairing rather than P.K. Subban because he's just that good. Again, in all seriousness, I do hope he has a bounce back season because his Bruins tenure was certainly one to forget. Lee Stepniak is now a member of the Carolina Hurricanes, a solid deal for him. He's a bottom six guy unless your top six is looking pretty rough like the Bruins was last season or if they are injury riddled but he'll fit right in with the canes brett Connolly to washington where he'll surely replace alex ovechkin i said it in the pre-free agency video two second round picks man they turned out to be matthew spencer and boris kachuk future norris and heart winners i'm sure the monster Jonas gustafson is now an edmonton oiler along with other former bruins and the last out, at least so far from last year's roster, is the biggest. Louis Erickson is a Vancouver Canuck. Six years, six million per, now I'll just say it. David Backus, the newest Bruin, got five years, six million per. So it's fairly evident that the Bruins management wanted to move on because I really don't see the issue with handing Louis that extra year if you were going to give Backus this contract. When it comes to Backus, I can't lie and say I wasn't shocked and excited to learn of his signing. But the numbers, the stats behind it, just yikes. The no movement clause that guarantees he has to be protected in next year's expansion draft. Sure, he's a big body, he's versatile, he can play center, he can play wing, but the numbers don't lie. Both, when talking about Bacchus and Louie, are fairly similar in terms of production. Louis has a higher goals per 60, Bacchus with the better playmaking, but Corsi, the mythical numbers that you either love to quote or hate to quote, they don't lie. Louis creates more shots, he suppresses more shots, he's a first line comparable to Bacchus's fourth, and the possession game is hilariously one-sided in Louis's favor. So am I all right with the Bacchus signing? Sure, and who knows what it means. Krejci or Spooner, they're probably on the hot seat and either could be traded now in a package for a much needed defenseman. But to me, I can't lie. I'd much rather have Louis, even a Milan Lucic or an Eric Stahl if they're gonna be handing out a big money deal like this. But like I also said in the pre-free agency video regarding Shea Weber, there are certain things that you cannot measure and Bacchus certainly fits the role of the big bad Bruins motto. Riley Nash was signed, probably not the Nash a lot of people are hoping that they would sign a few years ago, but he is a decent depth guy. His production levels, right where you would expect them to be, on the fourth line, third line at best. His possession numbers are slightly better than that though. Think of it this way, if you believe in numbers, he's an improvement on Landon Ferraro and competition for the likes of Noel Achari. Tommy Cross, Justin Hickman, John Michael Lyles, and Tyler Randall are all returning, so interesting there. Of course, Cross and Hickman most likely to still be in Providence. Lyles, of course, will be on the Bruins opening day roster. Tyler Randall, who knows? And the last signing, the returning Anton Hadobin. Now, surprisingly, he stays in the NHL rather than going overseas, and he gets a two-year deal from the Bruins, and that is the most interesting number to me. With Jeremy Smith gone, signed with Colorado. The goalie situation stands at this. Rask is under contract until 2021, Hadobin for two years, McIntyre for another year, and then he becomes a restricted free agent. The same situation as Malcolm Subban and 18-year-old Daniel Vlatter. I think, is the V silent in that name? I don't know, but he begins his entry-level deal this year. So one would assume it's McIntyre and Subban in Providence but much like with Spooner and Krejci, Subban could easily be trade bait 
for a much needed defenseman and I can't help but make the obvious assumption that one of those three, if not more, will be suiting up for a different organization next season. The Bruins need a defenseman and those are easily the three most likely to go in my opinion. But that's it for day one, an interesting day that still leaves us with many questions, if not more than we had before. Aside from Lyles returning, the defense still obviously needs improvements. We now have to wonder if trading will be a factor there, and we're still left to wonder what happens next. Do the Bruins go after a restricted free agent like Barry, Truba, or maybe even a Danny DeKaiser on defense? It is safe to assume that they won't approach a restricted forward, but I guess you never really know with Don Sweeney and the unrestricted. Do you go for a James Wisniewski, a Matt Carl, Kyle Quincy, Luke Shen, I hope not, Jason Demers, or God forbid, Chris Russell? Offensively, you still have some decent names out there as well. Like I said, it's more questions than answers. They still have $8.5 million to work with and assets that they can trade. There is still a long road ahead. But guys, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the Bruins' moves or lack thereof. Of course, plenty to talk about with the Bacchus contract, Anton Hadobin being back. Very interesting moves, at least in my opinion, from day one. But guys, if you have enjoyed, make sure to drop a like down below, subscribe for more, and spread the word, and I will see you guys next time.